Okay, well, I've um, put in the surrounds of the windows and the side wall, um, sides of the wall. Now I'm going to add a little bit more. I've already done the gable end there, the um, tower end there. I'm now going to paint in um, the what in effect is the actual um, flint work. I'm picking around here and there, trying to suggest um, some form of um, like flint. That's it, yeah, that's about the grey. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for sort of greys, really, as much as, um, as anything. Um, not necessarily um, um, a real dirty grey, but a grey that's got a little bit of colour to it. That's why I've introduced light red and raw sienna with the cobalt blue to give that uh, grey effect and paint each individual section in other words of the tower um, right hand side left hand side leaving one or two little bits of white paper unpainted got to remember this is not the shadow area this is purely the stonework itself and also there is the right hand side of that but the left hand side of that buttress that will stand out once we get the shadow on I've also introduced a couple of figures so I'm going to leave that very shortly um, put those in very shortly a bit more raw sienna now to try and get a real bit of light onto the front of the building um, so that's that there, painting around the figures because the figures are quite important in this um, in this subject. Um, painting across and around those buttresses don't quite go up to the roof, so that's that's a, that's a useful um, thing. I'm going to treat the buttresses later in a slightly different. Um, a little bit darker just to suggest shadow paint around any the um, gravestones and any of the windows that you previously um, suggested there's a door there paint around that buttress area work them away out to the outside edge line between that and that's the window all of these areas will be shown up when we come to add shadow so vital that we don't add the shadow too early and yeah yeah a bit more yellow then onto the front edge and I'm making it extremely weak uh, it's um, when you do the, the that part of the tower John just add a bit more yellow to it. So that's bluer and that's got a bit more yellow in it. And and you see this area here, John? I'm actually going to paint that even lighter. And I'm painting over those brick edgings because they are actually um, within the brickwork, you know, within the stonework. That's too much yellow, too, well it's too much blue probably. So all you need to do is just rinse it and um, just slightly remix. That's all you need. Yeah, it's just, it's just little little areas of colour that make all the difference, you know. Um, So what was it? It was raw sienna, cobalt blue, and light red. The famous sienna. Fletcher Watson mix. Okay, so that's the um, the walls, the buttress areas. Um, just got one or two other little touches. Then we're going to look at the window. 